Welcome to the Everyday Mom Challenge. This is episode 131. This is our homeschool edition. Oh, yeah, there's Sam. <laughs> and this one is titled Sam's First Week of Reading Instruction. Okay, you know, Sam's in third grade, and I wanted to show you some ways that I have planned out our week. We start our first week of homeschooling. And today I'm going to probably be making another video because they're going to be involved in their first parent teacher open house. And I'll show you ways in which I'm organizing that now, but I'm just not ready for that yet. Um, Sam pulled a muscle in his neck and uh, we had to go right to the doctor. Right so, there. So my plan. So I have to be like this. Oh, be like that. Poor baby. So my plans of. You know, time and time is just clicking away on me, and they start in two days. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what I did. Um, last night, I jumped on Spelling City, and I went ahead and made Sam's username password. Now, I am going to get the premium edition, but I did the free trial to start off with because I wanted to see the difference. When I homeschooled before, I only used a free version. This time, it offered me a premium version. And it's definitely it. worth the money. Um, I went through it. I made the list out for Sam, just like always. But it actually tells me um, if he's done those activities, the login times, and it's going to chart everything. So I love charts. I love to have all of that data. Um, and it's also going to help me because that's going to be an independent assignment that Samuel's going to be doing. When he's on Spelling CD, he's not going to be having me sit beside him for any of his spelling activities. Yes, Angel, come in. Um, you got to move your chair over so they don't just hear the you pot can talking in the sun. You can check me out um, on my YouTube channel, Shadow Ninja 316. Okay. I'm going to play someone turned if you could check me out if you have that game. If He's saying if you have any kids and uh, they like to play games, maybe they could uh, like his channel. So sweet. So, I've made this. I don't know if you can really read my handwriting. Um, in the beginning I of his five-subject notebook, I wanted five-star, five subjects, but they were completely out. But um, I highly recommend these because it helps keep the kids focused in. But I didn't tell what it was. I have the blanks here, so I wanted to show you. Because he needs to know his computer password to get in, then in his spelling city, his username and his password is exactly the same thing. So that's going to be very easy for him to get in on the computer. Um, I'm going to start him on IXL. I'm going to actually do the username and password on IXL on Monday. And that's a math program. I'll talk to you about that on our math video. Um, but as I'm creating these websites from him, I'm going to be putting in his passwords so that way he can have easy access to them. His brother can help him. I'm also making myself a chart in Google Docs. That way I can share with Solomon and Sam. They can have an electronic version of this. But I need it for myself because I'm forgetting my own passwords at work. I have a really hard time with that. <laughs> um, so I know I needed to start doing that better. My friend Laura, when we're doing our In Bloom Ministries, we started making a password Excel sheet. So I was like, okay, that's brilliant. I'm going to start using that for my life and homeschool. So it's working. It's keeping me organized. So, let me tell you about the uh, spelling city. He's gone out of the room, so I'm so glad. I chose very simple words for the first week because I want him to feel very accomplished and very like, I can do this because his reading, because of his past experiences with substitutes for the past few years, and he hasn't had that strong foundational base in reading, I'm gonna have to do some catch up work with him. But I wanted him to feel great about his first week of spelling. So when he gets on, he's going to do, he's going to number his paper 1 through 20. Spelling is going to be his first section. And he's going to write his words. I did the ACK family, A-C-K. I did the word family and a basic site word list. I did two lists and I, I labeled it week one. Um, that way I can make sure I'm going and reviewing some word families with him and doing the dolch at the same time he needs both of that as extra practice but i made sure the list was super great for him um so i chose the games what was really cool about the premiere is that you can choose activities that you want so of course i did the teach me 
and I did the test, of course, those are the two that we have to have. But I got to choose some of through the different list of activities that I wanted him to try for the first week. Um, another reason why I think it's important that you start off with an easier list is if you're introducing anything new, I'm not just talking about a new concept, I'm also talking about a new program. They need to learn it, the program more, and I felt like if I gave him words that I felt like you know, he would be able to feel very confident about, it would help him learn how to maneuver through the actual Spelling City online program. So that's another reason why I did it, because it takes off the fear of I've got very challenging words and I got this new website and I've got to learn how to maneuver through this. Now it's just really, this is easy. It's both boost his self-confidence in his reading, but it's also just training him on the website. So this is actually going to be like a training week for him. Now Solomon, I started Solomon on vocabtest.com. It's amazing. I love it. The words are super challenging for my child, and they have SAT words. It goes all the way up, um, starting with sixth grade. He used this before when we homeschooled. And I'm going to do the same thing with him, but with Solomon's, not only does he have to write the word, Solomon also has to write the definition. And then I take that list and I build it on Spell and City, and then he takes his test. Okay, so he's also going to be a part of Spell and City, but his words are not coming from Spell and City. His words and vocabulary is coming from vocabtest.com. Um, I may just go ahead and use the options of vocabtest.com and go ahead and um, have him take the test there, but I kind of just wanted to see him to feel like him and his brother were kind of on the same side. So if he looked over the screen and he saw his brother on spelling CD, that might make you know challenge himself to be more embracing about spelling since that is a weak area for Sam. Um, so that's my spelling CD. Um, the next thing I want to tell you what I did before he runs in. I know you guys have heard of Starfall.com love Starfall. I have been using that in elementary schools when I used to teach elementary school a long, long time ago and it just gets better and better. Now they do have a paid subscription to that. I did talk with Sam about that last night and he said that his school actually paid for the um, subscription and you could use all of the options to the right. But he liked, he said, Mom, I think this is enough for me because I love doing all this stuff here that we might not need to buy that. I was so proud of him for, you know, let us discuss this. But I will say that when he moves quickly through this, I am going to go ahead and buy the, um, the whole version. That way I can unlock everything. But I'm trying to, like, kind of tear out my money right now. So I know I can start him off at Starfall for the first month. I can make sure he's going through that each day. And then next month, then once I get my IXL math membership paid for, then I can build and do the Starfall membership because that's something that I truly believe in and I'm going to invest in. Okay, that's your passport. Mommy's going to write it in here. Okay. Yes, I see it right here. This is your art journal, so that's fine because you can also go to this website. Shh, don't, don't call out your passwords out loud to anyone. But you need to go here. You can go to this website. It's really cool. It's a drawing website. It's an art website. It's called Draco Art. And you can get all, and I'm gonna write up here, since this one is your art notebook. Draco, uh-oh. Draco Art. Go try that website. If that one's not correct, come back no, and tell me. I know, but I want to see if that's going to work. So that way you can see it and I can tell everybody. Okay, go on, baby. I love you. I'll talk about uh, the yeah. art program on another video because I'm trying to get the, the reading in today. Um, okay, so Starfall. So I knew he knew it. That was he said it's fun. He's hollered out. That's his stamp of approval. I knew he was in the other room. He's playing his video games. And here I am playing it all with their homeschool information and building my databases and I'm playing Starfall. I actually got on and my volume was on 100%. I did this for a reason. I was playing um, Who Am I? It's on the I Can Read section because I felt like that's where he needed to go was middle of the chart. You'll see what I'm talking about when you get on there. And he goes, Mama, what you doing? I said, I'm playing Starfall. 
So he came. Draco art. See if you can find it. And it, and it can show you all kinds of things to draw. Okay, baby. Um, so he comes running around in there. He goes, Oh, I can show you what to do. So we're reading together. We had our first lesson on Starfall last night. And it was wonderful. And we sat for about 30 minutes, just engaged in that website. And I was talking to him about the founders of the program and, and why they did the website. And it was just, it was a great time. So that was like a pre-work with me and him. And then I got to pop on while he was finished with that one to show him Spell and CD. So we did a little bit of work in that. I showed him how to access his list. And um, he did not play any of the games. I would not let him because I wanted him to be surprised. But I did show him how he had to write down and list. So I highly recommend Starfall. You can get free materials. They have downloads. When I was in elementary school, I printed off the, the Zach the Rat and all of those downloads. And we've worked that program together just as a supplemental material. So I'm using that as a supplement to our, uh, our main reading. Okay. And I want to show you Sam's folder. This side is going to have Sam's agenda, which you see it's blank. I'm going to have another uh, program on that one. But right here, I went online and I just typed in printable reading logs and I went through the ones. And I really like the ones where he's going to have to write not just the name of the book and the author, the date, but the number of pages and the comments. The comment section, this one right here, and he's going to draw his smiley face his okay face or his sad face to let me know um, his critique of the book that he chose. Um, I think that's real important that we have our children do that because it can actually help us learn more about their book taste and then we'll be able to tailor their book baskets for the next week um, to get them more interested. It's not? Okay, have your brother show you how to do Draco art. Um, he'll know how to do it. And no, he, I was on. I was searching Draco and I got it off. You had to type in Draco it. Arch. Yeah, I did that. And it did not show up. Okay, well then. And, and when I press Enter, and it said Google Tools. I press mm -hmm. Enter. Oh, I wish I was. Um, go talk to your brother and tell him that mommy's making the video and she wanted to talk about. Um, She's some... Okay, go on. Close the door. Mom. Okay, go close the door. <laughs> okay. So, let me tell you about the book baskets. Okay, um, in elementary schools across the country, you've seen the 20 minute a night reading logs and you have to sign those as a part of their homework. Um, I do believe in the silent sustained reading, SSR. We do that in the high schools. I only do um, 15 minutes this year. My, um, your computer's about to update because mine updated. Okay. So, you probably get. get but you've got a brand new computer. For your yeah. birthday, so no, it's actually it's now. Oh, okay. It's now actually now what we're doing. Okay. No, um, it's, not, it's the new update. We require 15 minutes, and then at night we require 20 minutes. Um, so they're actually getting 35 minutes a day in my class. But for homeschool, I'm gonna stick with the 20 minute a day, or as long as you finish, the, you know, the book. Now, now, with Solomon, of course, I can't say, you know, finish this book. I'm going to show you my basket. Okay, here's our book basket. The book basket's for both boys. Okay, now, Uncle Bobby, he gave this to Solomon, and Uncle Bobby's passed away, and I told Solomon, now is the time for him to read uh, for Uncle Bobby. It's Robinson Crusoe. He has The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and he has Myths and um, his Myths Legends book. Now, we're going to be reading this, me and Solomon, he wanted to start a Greek culture, so we're going to actually going to be reading some of these um, different types of myths and legends together. But we're not going to be able to read all of these together. So if he's interested in going through some more, he can read those on his own. I'm also taking them to the library on Monday. I'm going to take them to the library once a week, so then they can add additional books to the book basket. So it's not just the limited books. Well, they say we've got more books than anybody in America, but I know we don't. But um, they, um, not just the books that I've chosen for them, you know, as options, but books that they have chosen for themselves. So if Solomon wants to put off on any of these, and when he finds his science fiction that he loves, you know that I'm going to promote that. Um, 
phones, you know, as they're doing their reading logs and keeping up with those, they will get graded on those reading logs. I want to show you some of the different things that I picked out for Sam. Um, of course, y'all know if you give him a cookie. I, I got some classics in here, but look what up here. He's going into third grade, but for the first week of him learning the procedure, setting the timer on online stopwatch, that's going to be on his desktop, and he clicks on it. He's going to have a timer that he's going to have to set for 20 minutes, and it's going to ring. Um, it's for procedures for this week. So, yes, I did give him some first. I gave him some second. He needs to be. I gave him another first. He needs to be on that level anyway the very first week. This is something he's going to be doing independently, so I want him to feel successful again. And I love Dr. Sue's. I'm sorry, but there don't go. I mean, can't beat these. Um, I got Good Night Moon. I love that one. Then I also got The Three Wishes and The Wolf's Chicken Stew. So it's just like this one is going to be for him when he sees, you know, the multiple pages. He's going to say, oh, wow, this one's big. Um, but I've got to get his open. i got to get his mind open to embracing the reading. So that's why I've picked multiple grade levels in here. And I feel very confident about that as we start off our school year. Um, I'm not just going to throw at him third grade right away because I know I need to get him ready for that. Now, for our actual reading, um, I think I left it around in there. It's the Volcano book. It's, it's the ones. I love these books. I cannot stress enough how much I love the ones that have already been graded. Um, at Barnes & Noble, you get a teacher discount card, so please go and apply for that. Um, and so you, you can get these books for like $3. Um, it, you know, they're $3.99, but you get, this, you get the discounts. They're so worth it. They have so many National Geographic books like this and DK readers. Um, so this week, I have some level books like that for him that we're going to be reading for our 30 minutes of reading together. Um, I'm going to start with a pre-assessment with Samuel. Talking about volcanoes? Yes, we are going to be doing volcanoes. Look what um, I have. He's, he has been dun, wanting dun, to try that dun. water. Okay, he's got to show you. Um, I'm going to be doing, come here Sam so they can see. I'm going to be doing a pre-assessment with Sam because I do believe that any time that you're starting your new school year, you need to spend some time doing a new routine, setting up your new programs, if you find new websites, introducing those, but you cannot forget about the pre-assessments. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the K2 assessment with Samuel. We're going to be looking at and phonics. That looks really bad now. I'm sorry, baby. We're going to be focusing. We're going to be doing phonics. We're going to be working on, okay, he's going to try to start doing this. No, I'm not. No, no. Um, we're going to be working on phonics. We're going to be working on initial and ending sounds, um, blends. I'm going to check him for his Dolch sight words. Um, just print off the 500 most commonly used words, the Dolch list. Go through those quickly with your child just to give yourself a baseline. We're going to be doing some second grade reading books, and then we're going to move up to the third grade reading books. I'm going to be asking him questioning. Um, tell me about the parts of books. You know, um, all of that is very important for their emergent reading skill. Oh, thank you. Look, that matches my blue shirt and your blue shirt. Um, so, I'm just, you know, really into the pre-assessment. Um, I've done that every year. Now, with Solomon, I do not have to do that. He's on his way. But because this is Sam's first experience with homeschool and because of his reading, we're definitely going to start with that, and that's going to show him how much he's improved and how much he's grown. Um, okay, let me think. I think I got everything, Sam. I think I told him all about your book basket and your log and Starfall and Spelling City and your spelling list how to keep up with their uh, your passwords. Is there anything else that I need to tell them about your first week of reading? Hmm. Do you have any suggestions or things that you could work on? I know you're the ready. camera looks like I have a mustache. I know. I know you're ready to learn about volcanoes. Is there anything else you'd you like to add? Mm. Nature. Nature. We're doing that because we're doing earth and environmental science. Oh. Um, 
time. How do you feel about reading? Mm -hmm. I'm tired. You're tired? Mm -hmm. Reading is one of mommy's favorite. I like reading. I'm so glad. Your brother likes reading. I like too. watching videos. You like watching videos? What kind of videos? You're talking about YouTube videos? He also likes watching documentaries. I'm going to video on that one, too. Okay. Uh-oh. Um, we paused. Whoa. I didn't pause it. <laughs> I think it lagged. Oh, Sam. I what didn't do that. I didn't us. do that. <laughs> you put on mommy's silly hat. Okay. Sorry, guys. I didn't Oops. do that. <laughs> it lagged out, and I clicked, and I just, like, clicked because okay. I wanted to go down, and then the thing just, like, mm. All right. So, I hope that you have a opportunity an opportunity to comment and let me know of some reading programs online that you recommend that other homeschool can see um, i know there's such a wealth of information out there on the internet yeah that's about how i feel right now that i've just been knocked out i know i look tired um i know there's a wealth of information on the internet out there for us but the best way for us to communicate is to bond and share our homeschool experiences with each other because I know I'm not alone and neither are you. Um, being a homeschool mom is just the, one of the greatest blessings. Um, it's just nothing like it. So I'm so excited about the school year with them and making sure that my children are receiving the best education that they can. Um, I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. I challenge you to start the reading baskets with your children and the reading logs if you have not done so. I also challenge you to check out Spelling City and Starfall because both of those are, you could do the free programs. Um, and I really highly recommend those and that vocabtest.com. That one is free as well. Please comment below and tell me some new things that I need to start incorporating into the reading online um, because we are going to be doing a lot of independent um, computer work this year. I would love for you to share your websites with me. Um, I hope that you have a blessed day and thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow or later because I'm making that parent-teacher conference one. Bye.